On Tuesday, August 20th, 2013, the City of Annapolis executed their fourth annual emergency preparedness drill. Rather than using a scenario that was unfolding, this drill focused on the aftermath of a hurricane that came up and struck the city directly. I just want to sure. I want to make a point about um, what we're planning for here, because I, when I was talking with Chief Simmons, um, a couple times I used the word emergency, and he says, "No, this is not an emergency. We're planning for a disaster." And so um, I just want everyone to keep in mind that's what we're talking about, and to put it in context, I'm looking at Al Poe's work, and that's what all of us are working on here for this disaster, not just for our city employees, but the tremendous partnerships that are part of this exercise, even with residents, working on business, you know, restoration, and getting back to normal and all that. So there's a lot going on, and uh, thank you all for being here. The uh, EPARM enjoys a lot of support, not just from uh, me and the city administrator, the city manager, and the administration, but from the city council. Uh, and good morning. Good morning. Uh, again, as the mayor said, I want to thank everyone for taking the time to be here. Um, this sends a message very clearly to our community that public safety is most important and that we are prepared for whatever comes our way. Our staff, uh, the community, the businesses, the residents who are part of this day will help us know how to react and thus better react in the event of such a, a situation, a storm or whatever. Of course, while the city was reacting to all of the residents and their needs, they still needed to take care of the core responsibilities of fire, police, and EMS. In this scenario, a worker had fallen into a mud pit valve in the water treatment plant. Meanwhile, at the Pitt Moyer Recreation Center, staff and volunteers were standing by to bring people in for shelter, to assess their medical needs, and to provide them basic nourishment and food. Meanwhile, at the United States Naval Academy Marine Corps Stadium, a pod was set up which stands for point of distribution for families that were able to get out into the location to pick up food, water, and other means of nourishment. Each year the city prepares for a different scenario so they can be prepared for almost any eventuality. <laughs> 